Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Uh, AK Toys here up in freezing Alaska in the middle of winter and I figured I would do a quick review and flight test on the Beiyang Toys X-16 Typhoon. Um, I have flown this a couple times so I've got a pretty good feel for what it's like um, and so far I have to say I'm very impressed with this uh, quadcopter. Um, flying the Sima X-8 uh, gives me a good reference point to you know price range and where this thing's at um, This is definitely a lot more performance than any Sima X8 that I've flown um, This thing is a kitten to fly this uh, has altitude hold and It would be great for a beginner as long as you kept it in low rates on the transmitter keep it in low rates and it won't get away from you but in high rates it gives you a lot of thrill because this thing is quick uh, brushless motors lots of power this thing has good punch out um, it, it doesn't get boring flying it you got to stay on top of this thing a um, lot of speed one of the bad traits it has though is in altitude hold mode if you're in dual rates in the high rate mode uh, it has a tendency to keep nose diving in and it eventually just can't keep altitude without adding a lot of power but that in, a, in, in itself is a good thing because this thing can bank over really hard and by giving it more power it can really truck it'll move um, I actually like that about this thing um, one of the the bad things about it is though with altitude hold you have a tendency to be playing around and gaining a lot of altitude you don't want and then it's hard to burn off that altitude uh, to get it back down to you so you waste a lot of time actually you know trying to you know get back down to the ground because it has a set rate of, of you know the throttle being all the way down it can only come down so fast so I found that if you just dive it in and spin it it can come back down a lot faster it also doesn't have the bad tendencies of the altitude hold of the Sima when you get the stick down too far it just shuts the motors off because this actually has the crossover to shut it off and turn it on which I like that's nice um, I do like the quadcopter overall for build quality I think that you know for around a hundred bucks you can find this online everywhere for around a hundred bucks uh, it, it's it's a lot of bang for the buck uh, definitely recommend not getting it with the camera so for around a hundred bucks you can get it without a camera because the camera that this thing comes with sucks ass so just don't even bother getting the camera that comes with this I found something that works really well I run the Sima HD camera that shoots in 1080p um, and I put a little cheap two dollar gel mount on this thing and this gel mount by the way will slide right into the stock groove and lock in but it shows the gear legs so what I did was I put a little piece of rubber padding in there and a couple tiny screws and I mounted it further forward the quadcopter doesn't give a crap if this weight is further forward it doesn't affect the way it flies at all that way you have a nice clear image of anything you're recording without the gear leg in in the way i i absolutely hate video footage of people shooting footage with the gear legs in the way or the props always showing i just don't like that um the battery compartment is really nice actually because the door is you know great you don't have to sit there and play with trying to stuff the wires in like a lot of quadcopters do um, the battery slips in there really really nice a lot of room and if you actually look inside here I don't know if you could see that on the camera but there's plenty of place uh, plenty of space and places in there where you could actually take some of this plastic out and put a much bigger battery in um, but that said this is a 11.1 uh, .1 volt 2200 milliamp battery and the flight times on this thing is really good uh, almost double what you get out of a Sima X8 for flying time and considering how much this thing you know shits and boogies across the sky that's that's pretty good so anyway so back to you know the camera if you do a setup like this um, what I discovered is is they have the same plug-in on the bottom as the Sima same little on and off switch 
and I'm not going to go over all the little functions of what this quadcopter does because there's plenty of YouTube videos on that and they're pretty boring. I'm just kind of giving you an overall of if you're looking for a fun toy for, you know, on the cheap, this is definitely some big bang for the buck because this thing flies like a racer or flies like a camera platform. It's very steady. The altitude hold is amazing. It's not bobbing up and down in the air it really does hold altitude and you can put it two feet off the ground and just scoot across the ground and not worry about your altitude but the camera right here just plugs right in Sima camera this usually comes on like the Sima um, I think this is on the newer Sima X8 HG um, and you can just buy these little cameras set alone and like I said the, the little holder works perfect for it I did take a Dremel and made a hole in the side so I didn't have to take the camera out to take the SD card out and it even has the little button here on the top if you want to do it manually if you don't have a plug-in nice little setup good video on these cameras I like these cameras and if you crash them so what it's not a GoPro so um, back to back here I like the way the door shuts I did make a little hole uh, because I like to run the balance um, plug out because I like to run a low voltage indicator and I run this right at about 3.6 and that gives you about oh 45 seconds to a minute or so once you hear it beeping to get it back on the ground um, and the, you can see the other mods I did I actually put some orange vinyl decal uh, on the front flying this line of sight <clears throat> excuse me I like to have a little more reference of what's front and back so you don't get so confused because you're not going to see these little red stripes at all if you start spinning around and, and you get ass backwards in the air the orange coming at you is definitely distinctive um, it, it's it's not as good as say I don't know if you can see this in the background but my little Sima uh, x5c I just spray painted the whole front orange and that is I don't understand why quadcopter manufacturers don't just make quadcopters like this and save us from spray painting crap. So that being said, let's set this thing aside. We'll take a quick look at uh, the controller. I really like. It doesn't feel that cheap and chintzy. It's a good feel. Um, you see I fly with a neck strap. Um, can't stand flying without a neck strap actually. The controls, you know, these buttons aren't fake. They actually do stuff. But like I said, I'm not going to cover all the stuff the buttons do you can watch a video on that um, you know it's it's got all the bells and whistles nice smart layout good feel to the gimbals they're they're butter smooth there's no clicking you know there's no center point problems so the quadcopter you know you know flies better that way and you know back to the flying of the quadcopter because we're going to take a test flight here in a second and you'll see what I mean this thing is beautiful in low rates I'm not gonna fly it in low rates obviously I'm gonna do some cranking and banking with it but this thing is a little monster in the air and it's a lot of fun it's something that you can get as a beginning quadcopter um, not spend a lot of money and you can move up with it it will progress with you as soon as you're good at flying it in low rates once you switch it to high rates you're not gonna get bored of it and you're gonna keep on flying it just you know a lot of fun so anyway um, the other thing I'd like to cover is I uh, have future plans for this quadcopter and that's because I like to fly FPV and this is a perfect cheap little platform to go out and crank and bank FPV without you know crying if you smash it into a pole or something so future plans uh, Ishing Ishing weird little name but they make the best little cameras for like 22 bucks off Banggood and this is a three-in-one everything's built into the camera so you're not having to like wire stuff together or anything because you basically have the camera you've got the the uh, VTX and the antenna which is a four leaf antenna too so it has better coverage good channels easy to switch them and everything you just make yourself a little mount plate it's got the battery wire um, I fly these on these little uh, 650 milliamp batteries these are super cheap pick up a bunch of these put some velcro on them they have good purpose but you know you can kind of see where I'm going here you kind of you know mount that right there and mount that right there with some velcro and you're basically scooting boogieing um, 
FPV on the cheap there and I'm always into being on the cheap because I fly like an a-hole and I like to run into stuff and I don't like to cry when you know I wreck something like this because that's crying time and that's no fun but all that being said let's go take this thing out for a flight and you guys can get an idea of how this thing flies and maybe it's up your alley and you want to pick one up uh, just to let you know there's a pretty good strong breeze outside today and it is winter so we're looking at zero freezing temperatures so we're also kind of doing a cold weather test on this thing so all right let's get in the air and check it out uh -huh. 